What is up guys, Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia with a specific video on how I set my motor vlogging helmet up for video and audio recording. I haven't done a specific video like this before but I guess there's a whole bunch of you guys that are interested in seeing how I set up everything on my helmet to bring you guys YouTube videos. I'll also show you some little tips and tricks that I use to keep the mount nice and streamlined and profile against the helmet so it doesn't stick out too much. And if you want more information there'll be a parts list down in the description for you guys. Enjoy! I'm not sure if I've got this angle right. Oh, I'm really gonna have to chuck it onto the helmet to really get that right. See how we go with that. So I guess a lot of people ask about this, but that's basically, um, I think all of this comes in the kit for the GoPro. This short arm, this long arm, and the GoPro clip. And this is basically how I have it set up on my helmet. Whoop, whoops. So it's uh, basically set up like that and it just clips into the side of the helmet. And I've got a aftermarket GoPro tether. Actually, no, this is a legit, no, is it? Yes, this is a legit GoPro tether that I've got that tethers to the side of my helmet just in case something happens, uh, this fails, the clip breaks, something breaks off here and the camera falls off, it's tethered so I won't lose the camera. I have lost a camera before and it f***ing sucks so badly. So obviously I've replaced all of the thumb screws with these stainless steel screws. So there's one there, there's one right there. And I do use a thumb screw on the back so that I can drop the camera down and get the camera in and out of the case a lot easier. I'll actually show you what I mean when I put it on the helmet. go so I've got my oh, wow the helmet balances like that it's handy that's handy so I've got my GoPro Hero 4 mic adapter which I got from Amazon finally I had just I used to make these man I used to I used to solder in a 274k ohm resistor into these little tiny little clips here to get these things to work but I finally found a supplier that sells working Hero 4 mic adapters so if anyone's having a problem with that and also right angle connectors which is like so hard to find anyway um you know what i'll link it down in the script i'll i'll put a link to my amazon store in the description you guys can find all of the stuff that i use there and thanks to twitchell for recommending these little sticky cable routing things they work a treat as well but basically the camera so i'm not gonna be able to talk because i've got this camera this camera here in my mouth so just watch, so just, you know what, just watch along. This isn't fucking rocket science. So that's basically it. The tether wraps around the front and then over to the back and clips in. Just there, so that's tethered. Camera is tethered. I don't have the microphone plugged in, and I also don't have the camera in there. But this is the uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys to get the camera in and out. That's why I've got this little thumb screw on the back here. Just undo this a little bit, flop the camera down, and then I can access it. Oops, this case is not quite tight. I can access the camera quite easily without it being way too close to the back of the helmet. I think that works out. I think that works out quite well. Let's jump the camera in.
that is it. I just need to make sure that I've got that that angle right. I've always been a, I've always been an advocate of having your camera lens in line with your eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? But basically, what I'm trying to say is, like my eyes will, my eyes are in the helmet at this exact level. So this is where I want my camera. A lot of guys mount their cameras down here. I think Premise 187 mounts his down here. I think Baron von Grumble also mounts his a little bit lower. Um, I don't know what it is, man. For for the longest time, for the last four years on this channel, I've always had my camera at eye level because I want you guys to see exactly what I see. Riding with Tom rides with a chin mount. To be honest, I've never tried the chin mount before, and like, there's some other reasons why I don't use chin mount. One of those is being that my <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna cut that part out. So don't worry about why I don't do a chin mount, but I just don't. There are reasons why I don't do it, which I don't want to talk about on the channel. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the Adrian Nickelodeon motor vlogging setup right there. I've also got my microphone. Oh, gotta be careful with this helmet. Got, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so I've also got my microphone sitting just inside this cheek pad, just in here. So I've actually pushed it. I route the microphone wire in here and then it goes through the cheek pad and actually sits inside the cheek pad, just here right next to my mouth. And I think it does a good job. Cuts out a lot of the uh, wind noise or a fair amount of the wind noise. I think it gets my voice pretty well, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's all she wrote. There we go. All right. Okay, we're done. Let's get onto the bike. You know what, I just realized something. I was literally about to throw this case away and I just remembered that there are some modifications that I've done to this case as well. One of those is a clear plastic uh, lens protector, which I've already pulled off here. I do need to chuck one onto this GoPro to protect the lens. Obviously it won't do much. Obviously it didn't really work with a rock strike, but with like bugs and just little scratches and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to peel off this cheap little, you know, 20 cent lens protector and chuck on a new one than it is to replace the entire case and I think these cases are about 20 bucks I'll get the one with the little cutouts on the side something else that I've modified on something else that I've modified on this case is the top latch so this here you probably can't tell because it's painted black but it's actually an aluminium or aluminum latch because these are prone to breaking so I ended up getting an aftermarket one so I will get around to just uh, unhooking this and chucking this onto the new setup so that I've got a strong sturdy latch but um, yeah just thought I'd add those two little things in there as well these cases as well with like absolutely everything that I use will be down in the Amazon store link in the description below if anyone wants to check any of that sort of stuff out and uh, yeah okay all right let's get onto the bike for real this time